Hello there, welcome back to my channel. I'm looking at my hair, oh my goodness, it looks really big today. <laughs> really high, really full, but that's a good thing because we are talking all about volumizing hair products. I know many of you have told me you have super fine, thin hair and you wanna know what the best products are for your hair, regardless of whether you have long hair or short hair. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. As we jump into this, I just wanna say my voice is a little raspy. This is the first day that I am actually kind of talking normal. After my trip to see my brother, I caught a cold, lost my voice, you know, all of that fun stuff. So we're gonna just carry on and hopefully my voice holds out for the video. All right, so as we go through this, I'm going to insert clips of various demos as I did my hair today with these products. However, I am not going to show you shampoo and conditioner. That's where we're starting. The best volumizing shampoo and conditioner that I personally have used is by Redken. It is their volume injection shampoo and conditioner. This does a great job of cleaning the hair. I shampooed today and I only had to shampoo once. And as many of you know, I use some pretty heavy duty products and this cleaned well, and yet it did not over dry my hair. When I rinsed this out, I did not feel like my hair felt like straw. So that is a good thing. However, it's like I could feel it working in the scalp to kind of plump up that part of the hair. The conditioner, likewise, it provides a light conditioning to the hair. It doesn't wear it down. Now, I would still recommend if you have super color processed hair like I do, you might still once a week wanna do a heavy duty mask. But for the daily conditioner that won't weigh your hair down, this is a great one. All right, the next step after I've towel dried my hair is to go in with a couple of products when my hair is wet. Now, most of these products should not be a surprise if you've seen my hair tutorials. The first recommendation I'm gonna have is the Catwalk Root Boost. Now, this is the one that I chose to use today, but also the Big Sexy Hair Root Pump Plus. This is for medium to coarse hair. If you have fine to medium hair, you're gonna want to do the root pump. So avoid the plus. And this says that it is humidity resistant. And this is actually the travel size I brought with me to Georgia to visit my brother. And I felt like it did a great job in the humidity. But the Catwalk Root Boost, this has been a ride or die for me. And so many of you with fine thin hair have told me that this has worked well too. Now, as I demo this product, I am only putting this product at the base of the hair in the areas where I personally need more lift. Now, if you feel like you need lift everywhere, you can go ahead and put it in your roots, but be careful with this product and every styling product I'm gonna show you, do not overuse it. If you get too much product, of course, it's gonna weigh your hair down. But I put this in the, close to the roots and then work it through with my fingers. And then what I feel like this product does well is as I blow dry my hair, and I do concentrate the blow dryer at the roots of the hair in those areas where I need more lift, but as I do that, I feel like this product gives a little bit of hold as I'm creating that volume with the blow dryer. Now, do not mistake this for being a styling mousse. This is not going to actually be your final hold product. This is just going to add a little bit of extra volume at your roots. Now, the final product I'm gonna show you today for putting in wet hair is a relatively new product that I've recently discovered. My hairstylist recommended this, used it on me, and I was like, I need this product. And it is the Kenra Nitro Memory Cream 18. Now this is a very unique product. It's not quite a mousse, it's not quite a cream or a gel. It's kind of a hybrid of all three of those. But as you'll see, I am using a tiny little amount of this. You do not want to get too much because your hair will feel a little too dirty. <laughs> but as I'm applying this, this product I feel like helps give lift and volume towards the middle to ends of the hair. I don't work this into the roots of my hair, but I feel like this works best kind of in the midpoint to the ends, and it's not going to add any greasiness, 
but as I blow dry my hair, I feel like this product almost makes your hair feel like you've added one of those beach sprays. Have you ever used one of those? It kind of adds a little bit of grit to the hair. So initially when I get done blow drying my hair, I can kind of feel a little bit of that texture in the hair. And then it's kind of like as the hair cools down, I don't feel that anymore, but I do still see this extra kind of lift. And then as I go in with my other styling products, I feel like this helps everything kind of stay in place better. And it does say it has a three day style memory. I've never just used this as my styling product, but I do know combined with my other products, I can get multiple days of styling if I want to. All right, this next product goes in once your hair is dry. And this is an amazing, unique product that you can actually use even throughout the day. Let's say you fix your hair and then you go out and you're in a super humid climate, you're sweating, or maybe one of those wonderful hot flashes comes upon you and your hair starts wilting and you're like, what can I do? You can go in with a little bit of this wonderful powder. Now I have both formulations. This is the Sexy Hair Big Powder Play and then this is the Powder Play Light. So just like their Root Pump Plus, they have two different formulations of this powder. One that is going to give more lift and more volume and is formulated, I feel like, for more thicker, uh, coarser hair, but you certainly could use this on fine hair. And then the light version is just, it says it's a soft volumizing powder. So the way that you use this, again, in your dry hair, or if you need to soak up a little extra moisture, one of you told me you do this after going to the gym and you need to fluff up your hair real quick before going back to work. This you actually place in the roots of your hair and for demo purposes, I'm gonna show you both. So this one has holes in the top and you just dump a little bit of powder in the roots of your hair. And as you do this, it's going to feel like you just wet your hair. It's such a unique product. It feels cooling and wet, but then you just rub your fingers a little bit at the scalp and you can see that lifted that section where I put the powder. Now, again, you don't want to over apply these products because you will start kind of feeling itchy, I think, towards the end of the day. But the only drawback with this one is it is really hard to tell how much you've dumped in your hair, especially if you're using this around the back. So some of you have told me what you do is you actually put a little bit in your hand and then use your fingers to apply it. You could certainly do that. But that is why I purchased the light version because this actually comes with a pump. So my thought on this is actually once I finish this, I might try putting this into this bottle and use the pump because I feel like this would still work in a pump bottle. But I'll show you this on the other side. Same thing, I'm just going to pump a little bit of this into the roots in a couple spots where I want a little extra lift. And you can see just like the other side, it added like this instant little bit of a poof right there. <laughs> so I think these are fabulous products. And initially when I first bought this one, it was like $18 and I thought, oh my goodness, it's a tiny little bottle. But truly you don't need to use very much of it. So as long as you're just going in with little amounts, it is going to last you a while, but my tip would be wait for these to go on sale as they routinely do at Ulta and pick up one. And then because of its size, it's easy to throw in your handbag or your gym bag or your travel bag and keep with you throughout the day if you need a little extra lift. Now on to styling. This next product has been with me from the very first video I ever posted here on YouTube and it is Enjoy Dry Wax. Now I have heard from so many of you, I mean literally hundreds of you that have said, holy cow, where has this product been all my life? It is truly different than all other pomades, all other 
texturizing products that I have ever used. And so many of you have said the same thing. Now, why do I feel like this is good for fine, thin hair? I feel like that because it is a matte, a fully matte wax. And as long as you don't use too much, this will not make your hair greasy and therefore weigh it down. So the key is you must use a tiny little amount and you can see how little I use and I have a lot of hair. So dial it back if you have thin hair and maybe just go in with little bits, you can always add more. But what I love about this product is it doesn't dry down. So you can work it through your hands work it in your hair, and then you can go back and style and continue to piece your hair and scrub it into kind of towards the roots of the hair with what's left on your fingers. And that is going to give amazing hold throughout the day. It does not dry down technically, um, but it does kind of set in the hair. And again, adds just that little bit of gritty texture that I think helps you give the lift in those areas you need to. Now, going in next with, again, a product that goes back to that very first video, tried and true, my Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray. Now, I know some of you have said that you feel like this is still a little too heavy for your hair. Others of you have said, no, it works great in your fine hair. But I do have one more product I'll share with you if you think this is too heavy. But this product, why I love this for all types of hair is the sprayer on it, it's short bursts and it dries quickly. So as long as you're not just holding a steady stream and totally soaking your hair, it allows you to just do short bursts and then hold that section up and it dries quickly and it keeps your style in place. Again, these products I took with me to Georgia in the humidity and my hair held up great. But I think one more product really did the trick and this is a new product. I talked briefly about this product in my travel, packing for travel video, but it is the Bedhead Masterpiece Hairspray. It says extra strong hold with massive shine. So I used this on my mom's hair and my mom's hair, I would say she still has about medium texture hair, but she has less hair than I do. So a little bit thinner, not super thin, but thinner. And she had started using this and felt like this really held her hair well and it did not weigh it down. And she's one that likes to go multiple days between washings. So I used this on her hair. I did her hair for her several days and I was really impressed how it worked on her. Now on my hair, my thicker hair, I still feel like I need a base of this, but when I go over my finished style with a mist of this, it keeps my hair in place. It keeps it from getting flyaways. And I used this when my best friend and I went to the beach. And I mean, we're talking wind all day long. And I have pictures at the end of the day when we're walking to the car and my hair looks nearly perfect. And I didn't do anything to it. I didn't fix it on the beach or anything. Now in Georgia, in the super humid climate, again, I used this as a finishing touch and I felt like this also did the same thing. It really helped everything stay in place. So if you're feeling like this is just a little bit too heavy for you, you may just only need this, but if you want that little extra insurance and that little added shine, I do feel like it adds a touch of shine. It's not, I wouldn't say massive shine, but I do notice a difference in kind of the overall finish to my hair when I use this. So that brings us to the end of my favorite products. As I mentioned earlier, one of the keys is getting the proper amount of each product, especially the styling products. You wanna make sure you're not using too much, 
but also make sure you're using enough. So it might take a little trial and error to figure out the appropriate amount, and it might take a little trial and error between products like this or between the kind of heavy volumizing, light volumizing products. But these are all products not only that I use on a regular basis and continue to recommend, but these are all products that I have heard from you all who have fine thin hair that have said these work on you as well. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Check the description box below. I know so many of you ask me, where can I buy Enjoy Dry Wax? Where can I buy that? And I really try to get back to your messages, but it's getting harder and harder to do that. So I always list all of the products in the description box down below. You're gonna hit that little arrow if you're on a mobile device over here, or if you're on a computer, hit where it says more and everything will be listed and linked there. Thank you as always so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.